All right, golf mates, welcome down to Maury Golf Club, New South Wales, Australia. Today's video is how to play to scratch. So Maury Golf Club is a par 72, 6,000 metres, for you guys in Europe, 6,600 yards. So I'm gonna play 18 holes, see if I can play to scratch, and hopefully you'll pick up a few tips along the way. Oh, happy days, happy days. Another birdie, wow. All right, golf mates, starting on the first hole today, par three, I'm going with five iron, you just don't wanna go long. Oh. Well, I definitely haven't gone long on that one. All right, what I'm trying to do here is just float this up, probably about three foot right of the pin, halfway, landed halfway between the front of the green and the pin and let it release up. I've got the old 58, ball sitting down a fraction, quite a bit of grass between club facing the ball, so that should help it release. Oh, good result. Pulled him, but uh, I've got an uphill putt and that's what counts around here. All right, slightly uphill left to right, grain moving from left to right. Just want to try to be firm and decisive with my line here. I'll take that. As you can see, golf mates, that's what scratch golf is all about. I didn't hit a fantastic tee shot. Short game saved me there. So uh, if you blow out on the first hole, don't let it destroy the rest of your round. Simple as it is. Here's a tip when you're playing grainy greens, golf mates. Most of the time you'll see a little burn mark on the side of the hole that the grain's running down towards. So very easy here. I can see the grain's running from back to front. But look for that little standout sign the burnt rim of the, uh, of the hole. All right, golf mates, second hole of the day here, 350 metre par four, straight away par four. Um, the best side to come in from is from the right side, so hopefully today I can just keep the ball on the right side and have a nice shot in. My second shot will be blind, however. Oh, I've piped that one. about a quarter of the way up the slope. And like I said, second shot will be blind. All right, golf mates, hit a wonderful tee shot here. I don't mind praising myself when and if needed. Um, obviously you can see I've hit a quarter of the way up the slope here. I've got about 85 meters in. One thing you wanna do on a slope is take some extra club. <laughs> Footing is essential here. So I take a slightly wider stance than normal. And I've hit a wee pull off that one. I'm not too sure how we're going. I'll take that. All right, once again, golf mates, so I've found myself with a downhill left to right putt down grain. Again, we can really see the burn on the rim of the cup here. So I'm gonna have to pay careful attention to that. But the key here also, I feel, is don't leave yourself above the hole. It's always easier to come back up the hill with some authority than baby one down the slope. Okay, not bad, I'll take that. Second hole of the morning, tap in par, no damage done. All right, golf mate's currently sitting level par after two holes, happy with that. Uh, come to the third hole here, 492 metre par five. Uh, for the, the folk back over in Europe, roughly 550 yards. Key here is try to keep it down the left side. Right side, we've got quite a lot of mature gum trees and if you go in there, you're cactus. So my aim point here would be the bridge in the background or if you can see old Rusty there on the mower. Just where you don't want to hit it. <laughs> that was a shocking swing, golf mates, to be expected early in the morning. Let's go see how I can handle this one. All right, golf mates, poor shot. Uh, let's not follow up one bad shot with another, hopefully. So uh, here I've got a seven iron. I'm just trying to get him up 
back onto the fairway, hopefully with a little bit of right to left, which I need, but I need a little bit of elevation too. So if we can just start him a little bit right, you just got to commit to the club of choice here. I didn't hear anything. I had a good line on it. Could be lucky. Could have snuck back to the fairway. Let's see. All right, golf mates, unfortunately, I didn't get it back to the fairway. I got a nice big bit of bark on the ball and I finished in this little gully here. I've got approximately 120 meters to the pin. I do have a nice line to the pin, but I'm gonna to have to keep it very low. Club of choice here is a four iron. Again, in all these shots, you've got to commit. You can't go at it half assed it's going to be tough, but if I can scrape her up around the green somewhere, I'll be very, very happy. Maybe just trick it off the back edge. That's fine. Happy with that. Happy with that. Okay, golf mates, what I've tried to do there is play the ball slightly back of centre. Try to keep my centre of gravity ahead of the ball and just keep everything moving through. We're not after a big weight shift in those shots, so center of gravity, ahead of the ball, bang. All right, golf mates, super, super happy with that shot. I'm actually just above pin high, about 25 feet from the pin. Club of choice here is gonna be my 58. I'm thinking I need to land it somewhere in this region and let it feed down to the hole. On these little these little shots here, grip pressure is the key. You want to keep your grip pressure nice and light, let that club head slide underneath the ball, and hopefully you get a good result out of it. Happy with that? Slightly chunky, slightly under the ball flight I wanted, but the result is good. All right, good result. And one thing, you can't go beating yourself up because you're not going to hit every shot perfect. So I've just negated the first three holes in par. Have I hit the ball great? No. Have I played some wonderful recovery shots? Yes. Key is focus on the positives. As you wear into the round, you'll get a little bit warmer, a little bit looser. Those shots will come. All right, golf mates, fourth hole, 312 metres into the breeze. On this hole here, you want to stay on the right side of the fairway if you can. The fairway does camber from right to left, so we should get a helping kick if I can keep it up that right side. Line here is the bridge in the distance or the silver peak on the roof of that house. Well, very, very happy with that one. It's taken me four holes to hit a decent drive, but uh, that should be center of the fairway, setting up a birdie, hopefully. Okay, I've got roughly, I'm just guessing here, roughly 40 meters. Pins in the middle. I mean, if I'm any sort of golfer, I'd make birdie from here. 58, club of choice. Again, a little bit of a feel shot. Keep the grip press pressure up, nice and light. I like this, I like this a lot. Look at that. And you can see how important it is, golf mates, even on these small shots, I think a lot of amateurs fall into the trap of not moving their body through the ball. You see a lot of this stuff going on where this becomes very stable. You notice then, I finish like this, so I'm turning my torso through to the target. Very, very important, even on those short shots. Alrighty, golf mates. That come off lovely. If I was playing with Mr. Barlow, he would be giving me this right now, but it's scratch golf. Everything needs to be hold. First birdie of the day. Again, just going back to the point, golf mates. Scratch golf is not perfect golf. So you can see I've started off a bit ropey. I've stuck with it. I've not got angry. I've not hurled my clubs. I've not carried on like a pork chop. I'm sitting at one under par after four holes. Happy days. All right, golf mates, here we are on the second hardest hole on Maury Golf Club, 408 metre par four, fifth hole. A very visually demanding hole, 
We've got trees encroaching out here, both sides, a very narrow chute to go through. So if you find yourself in these sort of situations where it is uncomfortable on the eye, pick a target in the distance very simply and try to swing towards that. So for me, as I like to work the ball left to right, I've got a limb that I've picked out already and I'm going to try and aim at that, swing to that and hopefully we pull the shot off. Oh, another horrendous tee shot. I'll do well to make par out of that one, golf mates. All right, golf mates, the big miss, way right. So this is what I'm faced with. Another one of these shots under the trees. I've got about 100 and I'm guessing 190 meters. I'm gonna choose three iron here. I'm gonna try and pipe it. If you can see the mower in the distance at the back of the gum tree there, I'm gonna try and hit it there and work it from left to right. Actually, club change, two iron. I think I'm gonna to have to keep this really low. Again, I've got to take my medicine here. I've missed it with the tee shot. Just wanna try and back it up with something decent. I've pulled it. Hopefully the lay of the land. Hey, that's all right. That's a chip and a putt again. Take your medicine, get on to the next. All right, golf mates, not too bad. I'm about 30 metres short of the green. Lies a little bit dusty in the rough here. Club of choice is a six iron. I can't really fly anything uh, up to the pin here because there's quite a narrow distance between the collar and the pin. So I'm just going to try and run this up and hopefully get away with a four. Not my best. We'll be chipping we'll be chipping again. <laughs> All right, golf mates, I'm short for three. Uh, tough little lie this. Again, quite a short distance between the fringe and the, uh, and the pin. I'm not feeling confident with the chip on this one. So I'm gonna use the good old fashioned three wood to run it through the fringe. Hopefully, up there, quite close. Okay, she's trundled on a bit. Got about five foot for bogey. Hopefully we can nail that one. Well, we've got about five feet left for my bogey. We don't really want to drop any more than one shot here. Fairly straight putt. Just need to be decisive with the line and release the putter head. Oh, and he's pulled it. Oh, this is a horrendous hole. Anyway, that's a six. Okay, sirrah, sirrah, on to the next. <laughs> All right, golf mates, as you can see, I've just uh, followed up that lovely birdie with a double bogey. But fear not, we've got to push on. Hole number six here, par four, 380 metres, moving left to right. The aim point here is the dark gum in the distance, hopefully with a little bit of left to right movement on it. Again, anything too far right is going to be blocked out by the overhanging gum branches. Right, not bad. Down the left side, should give me a good angle in. All right, golf mates, another fairway missed. However, I do have a shot. I've got around 140 yards here. Uh, again, I have to keep it reasonably low. Club choice, I'm going to take an 8-iron and hopefully get some solid contact and hit a green in regulation for a change. Okay. Be the club. I don't think I had enough club to go over the green. Hopefully that's sitting on the first quarter of the green. All right, as you can see, golf mates, one of the defences of this golf course is its elevated greens. We don't have a bunker on the course. Bunker's not needed here. Accuracy is paramount when you're playing Maury Golf Club. Okay, I've hit a decent shot in there. Slightly unlucky, I think. 
Again, a delicate touch is needed. Light grip pressure. Let's see if we can slide the club under this one and get her up and down. Oh, I like that. Oh, geez. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I tell you what, didn't that go? Run like a cut snake. A very good point to raise here too, golf mates. Again, talking about the grain. You can see here, if Liam can zoom in, the rim of the cup there, it's all burnt. Grass is growing that way. So I was a little bit lazy then. I should have done my homework a little bit better. That's why my ball released so far. Down grain, slightly downhill. Okay. Let's see if we can stop the rot. And I don't want to keep harping on about the grain, but it is an important part of the game when you're playing on 328 greens like we are here. She's going to turn. Oh, well, double bogey bogey. This is real golf though, golf mates. This is what happens and it's how you deal with it. It's how you deal with it. One under to two over, not a problem. We're just getting warmed up. All right, golf mates, we're here on the seventh hole, par three, 148 meters. I need to do something smart here to shake off those bogey blues. So once again, we don't want to go beyond the green. I'll be faced with a chip shot like I had on the last and I don't want that. All right, pins on the left here. I'm not even looking at the pin because it's dicey. So I want to aim for the center of the green, be happy with that. Take a two putt, maybe jag a, a birdie putt. But first things first, let's strike the center of the green. All right, golf mates. We've done what I've said. We've hit the center of the green. Pins on the left lot, set, little, pins on the left side, like I said. We want to stay away from that. That's stinky. Okay, we've got an uphill putt right to left. It's actually, I've actually got a good feeling about it. It's quite, quite tasty. Just like those lamb chops that Evie cooked last night. Very tasty. Let's see if we can back something up here. It's on its way, it's on its way. Oh, geez, I had a good feeling about that one. Anyway. Happy with that, I've stopped the bogey rot. Uh, back on track. Next hole, par four, eighth. All right, golf mates, hole eight, par four, 390 yards. Right to left, let's see if I can get one on the fairway. Oh, that was a low riser. <laughs> Got away with that one. May have hit a fairway, may. Golf mates, first fairway I've hit, second fairway I've hit today. I'm in the mayor's office, so to speak. I've got about 110 yards to the center of the green, pinned slightly forward, so I'm guessing 105 yards. Club of choice here is a 54. I think, I think I may have caught the front edge of the green there. I think. So I've got about 20 feet up the hill, right to left, coming into a little bit of grain, so it's gonna be a little bit slower. Another green light putt, should be a good chance of birdie. Oh. <laughs> in the G jaws, not to worry. Two pars in the row, I'm on fire. Geez, that was slow up there. <laughs> All right, golf mates, hole number nine here, approximately 560 yards. This morning, we're playing this hole into the breeze, so it's gonna be a stern test. Um, the only thing I can say is I need to hit a bloody fairway. Pronto. I do believe that could be the third fairway of the day. Is that, the screws? Is that, better? that was out of the sweet spot, yeah. 
Screws are a long time ago, Liam. Sweet spot. All right, golf mates, I've got a mile to go here. Uh, 300 yards, I'm guessing, somewhere down there. Uh, club of choice, lovely three wood. I want to get as far down as I can, hopefully within 60 metres of the hole. I love that distance. Um, let's see what I can do. I need to make a birdie. I need to make amends for some of those sloppy shots. Okay, wind's coming off the right. Good aim point. Is that white house in the distance. Remember, pick your target, swing towards your target. Got a little draw on that one. That was nice one, a little high draw. Hopefully I should be around that 60 metre mark, I think. All right, golf mates, I've outdone myself. I've got about 30 metres to the hole here. Um, set up nicely, should be making birdie if I'm any sort of player. Uh, once again, club of choice will be a 58 here. Green slopes back to front, so you can be quite aggressive in your approach shot here. Not my finest hour. However, it's a birdie putt and it's uphill. All right, golf mates, I've got about 25, eh, no, 20, let's give it 20 foot. Up the, up the slope. Another right to left putt. I've hit two decent ones on the, uh, the last two holes. Let's see if I can do some damage here. Oh, I gave it a run. I gave it a run. There's no pictures on the scorecard, is there? <laughs> All right, golf mates, front nine, two over par. Is there a chance on the back nine? All right, golf mates, just come off par at uh, number nine. Now we're on hole number 10, 356 metre par four. Uh, mirrors hole number two, which we played earlier. Split fairway, no real trouble here. My aim is to try and split the fairway. And I've done just that, golf mates. All right, golf mates, missed the fairway slightly to the right. And on most occasion here, if you're slightly offline, you're gonna have to negate the, the overhanging branches, which is, has happened to me here. I got, a, I got a clear sight of the pin, but unfortunately these overhanging branches are gonna prevent me from taking it to the sky. Club choice here is six iron. And again, you've got to commit to these shots Well, I've hit it straight down the pipe. It's happy with the result there, very happy. Like I said, if you're not on the fairway here and you're slightly off, you're really in strife. Okay, I've got about 30 foot here. Uphill left to rider, everyone's favorite putt. All right, I wanna cozy this one up there nicely. So I have a stress-free second putt. Not really one you can charge or, or hole. It's all about trying to get the perfect speed. Ooh, ooh, Larry Lip out. Okie dokie golf mates, a little two footer. Happy days. In trouble, out of trouble. No marks on the scorecard there. All right, golf mates, four pars in a row. So I've stopped the rot, so to speak. Hole number 11 here is a 300 metre dog leg right to left hole. 330 yards for those in Europe. This one here, you really need to strike it on the fairway. Big, big gum tree right in our line here. The big hitters can carry that gum. Today we're playing it into the breeze. So uh, I'm gonna try and take the smart line straight up the middle of the fairway. That should be pretty tasty. Again, that was like my second shot of number nine. That was a high draw. Perfect position, I am hoping. 
All right, golf mates, uh, nice tee shot, if I do say so myself. I've followed the slope of the fairway. Um, I've got, I don't know, 50 metre pitch, 60 metre pitch into the hole here. Pins at the front. Uh, another green light shot, really. I should be making birdie from here. I know I've been out of sorts somewhat today, but again, this is real golf. This is scratch golf. So you've just got to make the best of what you got on the day and just keep knuckling down. Okay, not bad. Probably about a 15 foot uphill putt right to left. One of these has to drop, golf mates. You know what? I'm gonna mix it up. I'm gonna keep the pin in. We need a change of fortune, golf mates. And this could be the defining moment in my round today. We need another birdie to get things back on track. 15 foot, right to left, uphill. Firm and decisive. Oh, so close, so close. Not to worry, that's another par. It's about five on the spin, still two over golf mates. I tell you what, hole number 12 that's coming up is a right doozy. Hardest hole on the course. This is gonna call for a well-struck tee shot. All right, golf mates, we've come to the lovely 12th hole where we've got across the Mihai River. We've got a hard dog leg right to left, similar to number 11. However, we've got a few more yards on this one. Stroke index one, like I said, premium here is on accuracy. We've got a lot of trouble all the way up to the green, so a perfectly struck tee shot is needed. Deep breath, deep breath. Whew. Light grip pressure. And let's focus on our aim point. I've picked out a branch again, golf mates. I'm gonna keep things nice and loose in the hands. Maybe an extra couple of waggles on this one to keep everything free and loose. I hope you've got shot tracer on that one, Liam. I should have been taking an extra couple of waggles from day one, I think. Yeah. I waited for that one. I've been a bit jumpy today, as you can see, golf mates, but uh, that might be the defining moment right here. All right, golf mates, stoked with that one. I've hit the middle of the fairway. I've got 170 metres into the hole. Wind's at our back now, so club choice is a 7-iron here. She's online. Is she enough? I think that's just shy. Just shy, a call for a chip and a putt. All right, golf mates, like I said, I took seven iron from back there. Happy with that club choice. Six iron could have put me over the back of the green. Don't want to go there, as we know. Okay, I've got around probably 30 yards up the hill here to the pin. Club choice here is a nine iron. I want to land the ball at least halfway up the green and let it release to the pin. It is uphill, as you can see. So anything with loft is going to dig in and spin up. We don't want that. Okay. A little bit firm, but a fairly flat putt nonetheless. All right, golf mates, six foot behind the pin. As I said, she is a very flat putt. Happy with this one? Putting for par. Oh, hang on, a bit of bird dung there, could be an omen. Oh, boom, nice par. Again, hardest hole on the course, very, very happy with the result there. That is an hard hole, that. Very hard hole. It's a card wrecker, that it is. is a card wrecker. Well, anything going left, you're down in the Mihai. I mean, that is savage down there. And look at the flow on the river today, so... Uh, yeah, no, it, uh, anytime you can walk off this hole with a par or to your handicap, put that smile on the dial. All right, golf mates, that's six pars in a row. Um, we've come here to hole number 13, 180 metre par three uphill. Not many par threes around the world will be rated index number three, however. So uh, a stern test here, a very stern test. I think we got a little bit full back there on hole number 12. The wind is swirling. 
Um, club choice here today, four iron. Pin looks like it's right in the middle of the green. So hopefully a well-struck four iron should place me there or thereabouts. Straight as a die. Hard to see, but I've hit, if I've hit the surface, the green does slope that way. So uh, I think we've got a birdie putt coming up, golf mates. Pretty much pin high, 25 feet across the slope, right to left. Everything's moving from the high side to the low side. Again, I've had a few of these in the recent times and it's about time that I sunk one, I think. Right, there is gonna be some movement here as the ball slows. Yeah, <laughs> about bloody time, mate, about bloody time. Well, there you go, golf mates. I've not been in my best today, but I've stuck in and I've, and I've ground away, and that's what you need to do when you're playing scratch golf. Look at that, third hardest hole on the course. I stayed strong here, and I've rolled her in for birdie. You too can do the same. All right, golf mates, I am pumped after that birdie. Absolutely pumped. Hole number 14 here, Kangaroo Gully. 400 meter par four. Today, well, the wind, it is downwind. So uh, it just proved what we thought on those other two holes. It has been swirling. Downwind, straight away par four here. My aim points the pin, big wide open fairway. Don't fail me now, big dog. Whoa! Best of the day, mate. Best of the day. Oh, I'm pumped up now. Mm. I'll even say it. I don't think that needs shot tracer. We're up there in the sky that well. Was it beautiful, yeah? Yeah. Yeah? As beautiful as this? No. <laughs> All right, golf mates, so I've split the fairway there once again. Um, got approximately 80 yards into the hole. 72 meters, somewhere around there. Not a great deal of green between the fringe and the pin. So I'm gonna actually try and fly this as close to the pin as I can. I wanna give myself a putt. I don't wanna be short and have to chip again. Club of choice. I'm gonna stay with her. I'm gonna stay with the 58 here because I need it to stop rather quickly. So again, nice light grip pressure. Oh, a very fortuitous bounce golf, mates. Very happy with the result there. Um, four, four foot for birdie. Got lucky. As you can see, golf, mates, golf is not a game of perfect. So I said I wanted to fly it up somewhere around the pin. It didn't happen, but I had a clear and definitive shot in my mind. And I committed to it. And I got fortuitous here. So five and a half feet up the hill, left to right. I'm gonna stay with the, uh, with the pin in and see if I can go back to back. Oh, it's two on the spin, two on the spin, golf mates, happy days. Back to even par. What a game, it's full of ups and downs. You just gotta try and keep yourself on an even keel. Hard to do at times. The closer you can get to that flat line, the better your score's gonna be, and the better your game's gonna be. All right, golf mates, hole number 17, 459 meters, let's call it 500 yards. Dog leg from left to right. Uh, my aim point today is gonna be over the top of that gum tree. Hopefully I can slide it a little bit to the right and give myself a good opportunity to go for the green in two, and hopefully another birdie. Well, not the desired shape. I had the flight. It's gonna to be tough to get up and down in two from there, but hopefully we can chip something close and uh, walk away with three on the spin. Little feeling of deja vu here, golf mates. Obviously I've turned one over there. I'm in the 12th fairway. Luckily for me, I've got a straight shot at the pin, 230 yards. I'm going with my trusty two iron today. Just fade, baby. Oh, 
Oh, I tell you what, Liam, if that missed everything, she's gonna be pretty close to the green. I've absolutely buttoned that, mate. Buttoned it. Oh, my baby. All right, golf mates, here for two. Not the easiest of chip. I would have preferred being down here on the right side, so I've got a little bit more room. However, it is what it is. I think I'm gonna try and leave this right of the pin so I've got an uphill putt for my, for my birdie, hopefully. Club choice, I'm going with a 58. She is sitting down a bit. So with that extra loft, hopefully that will help slide underneath the club and give me a little bit of air time and some nice release. Well, there you go. I went straight at the pin. <laughs> Needless to say, I've got a uh, probably about an eight foot birdie putt. All right, golf mates, I've sold myself short here. I'm actually six foot shy of the pin. Left to right, um, slightly uphill, green light putt for three in a row. I just pushed, pushed it. No problem. Happy with the five. All right, golf mates, hole number 16, 370 metre par four, dog leg left. The locals call this one Yogi's Door. Line here is straight over the two big gum trees you can see in your frame right now. Um, well struck tee shot for me should leave me around 110 yards into the pin. Let's see what we can do here, my friends. I don't want that one back, mate. <laughs> yeah. Well, golf mate, seems like I'm, uh, I'm a bit fired up. Got a bit of adrenaline on the go. 84 yards into this one here. Again, just a nice pitch into the hole. Hopefully we can get that elusive birdie. Wind is at our back. I'll take him again. <laughs> a bit shy, a bit shy, but another fortuitous bounce. I'm going to take that one. Again, golf mates, as we keep harping on about, golf is not a game of perfect. So, um, again, I've landed short. I've got a great kick up. I've got about 14 feet for birdie. I mean, don't beat yourself up if you don't hit the shot exactly where you, you wish to. You know, we're not robots. We are fallible. Okay, I'm feeling good on this one, golf mates. Uphill, right to left. Beautiful putting surfaces here at Maury Golf Club. This just looks stunning. Wow. Completely fooled me that time. I'm going to take the pin out. That's a lot straighter than I anticipated then. Right, completely fooled me then. I gave it a little bit too much break. There we go. Happy with par, still to handicap. Move on to the beautiful picturesque 17th hole. All right, golf mates, we've come here to the hole 17. For me, it's the signature hole at Maury Golf Club. Par three, 142 meters. Today, we're slightly forward, 130 meters. Premium here is on accuracy. Very, very small target. Hitting wedge, and I need to commit to this one, even though we've got some help from mother nature at my back. Be the one, be the one. Oh, happy days, happy days. All right, golf mates, I'm absolutely stoked with that one. I committed to that wedge. I left nothing in the tank. As a result, it is a tricky putt. That's about four feet right to left. I need to hit the center of the cup on this one. Oh, 
Happy days, happy days. Another birdie, wow. So that's what I mean, you've got to keep sticking it, sticking at the game. Just because you have a few errant tee shots or a few approach shots that don't go your way, you've just got to keep hanging in there. Don't give up, don't give up. The past doesn't equal the future. Look at today, not played my best golf, I've stuck in there and I've reaped the rewards. All right, golf mates, two fine holes to finish. Obviously our signature hole number 17, followed up by hole number 18. Beautiful par five this, around 440. Um, one of the best aspects about this hole is we have to cross the mighty Mihai River twice. It's a double dog leg, right to left from the tee box, left to right for your approach shot. Let's see how I can navigate this. I wanna turn this one from right to left. Just gonna try and hood the face on this one slightly, just to ensure that I get that right to left spin on the ball. Happy with that, started it, the gum worked it right to left, much like taking a corner kick in football. Simon, question for you. Yes. For you to draw the ball, people do it different ways. What did you just say, what you do? What I do, I, I try not to close my stance off, as a lot of people, you know, textbooks will say. I'm more of a feel player. So I'll stand over the ball, and I just slightly hood the face. Just that. Turn it, turn it to the left, and then I'll take my grip. So, it's a very simple thing that I find works for me. It doesn't work for everyone, but for me, I like looking down, just hooding that face slightly, and then just committing to the swing again. Picking your target in the distance, swing to that. Do you do opposite for a fade or not? For a fade, yes. Open the club face slightly, and then just swing down the path. Do you try and have the same swing with the, use the club face? I just try to manipulate the club face, but I'd start the club face at address in the position I want. So if, you, if I'm going for the fade, I'll fan the club face slightly, and then I'll take my grip. So I'm gripping it in that position with an open club face. And then I'm just trying to swing down the path. Boom, club face contactable. Hopefully right to left, left to right. All right, golf mates, very, very happy with the result from that tee shot, came off perfectly. My aim point was that gum with a turn. Uh, right to left turn, I pulled it off. I'm sitting pretty here. I've got about 240 meters to the hole. It's a blind tee shot. The green is behind this big canopy of, uh, of gum trees we can see here. I'm going with my trusty three wood. So as we spoke back on the tee, I'm gonna open the club face on this one slightly. One, to get a little bit of elevation to get over the gums, and also to help me put a little bit of left to right spin on it to fade it around the corner. So, Let's see if I can talk this one, or if my game can match my speak. There we go, I've, I've taken, taken my grip with a slightly open club face. Now I've just got to commit to the line I've chosen. I'll tell you what, I think I've overcut it. I should be around 30 yards short of the green, right side of the green. All right, golf mates, as I predicted, I missed the green right about 35 yards from the hole. Unfortunately, I did want to play a lofted shot here, but the overhanging branch is not going to allow me to do that. So my club choice here is a seven iron. I'm going to try and land this short. Hopefully it takes enough sting, or the bank takes enough sting out of this shot, leaves me up, uh, up on the green with a birdie putt. Unfortunately, wasn't to be. Was not to be. That, let's, let's just stop. Yep. That is one hard golf shot, that, isn't it? Yeah, it's tough, mate, especially with the, the, the Kaikuya. It's a very thick leaf grass, very sticky grass, so you've really got to commit. And I mean, you're in the lap of the gods, really, so you've just got to commit to your shot. You know, take the rough with the smooth. As it is, it is. All right, golf mates, uh, I'm left with the chip and a putt to get up and down. I'm currently one under par. Really proud of myself how I've stuck in there today. Not being my best golf, but uh, yeah, stick in there and uh, who knows what will happen. Right, club choice, I've got a 54 here. I just need a lander on, a couple of feet and let her release to the hole. Oh, 
Oh, we've got a little, we've got a little knee knocker for par. Golf mates, defining moment. Will I define the moment or will I let the moment define me? Up and down for a one under par 71. I define the moment. Geez, that was lucky. All right, golf mates, I hope you enjoyed watching the video. Hopefully you've learned something from it. Biggest aspect for me is always stick in there. Like I said, the past doesn't equal the future, so you never know what is around the corner. Don't give up. Even if you start double bogey, don't give up.